Hello, this is Dustin from Purely Evolved Gaming, and today we are on episode 4 of the Arc Dev Kit Mapping Tutorial Series. In this episode, we're going to be focusing on how to change the color of an obelisk. So, I already have an obelisk on this tutorial map that we've been working on here that I copied from my mod map that I'm making. Um, obviously, you can copy the obelisks from the island or scorched earth or aberration wherever you want to copy them from but I'm not going to be showing you how to do that as Xulog has already made a video showing how to do that and I will link that video in the description once I'm done recording here and so what we're gonna do is we're taking this red obelisk here and we're gonna change it to yellow and this isn't the vanilla red color I made a custom one because I wanted it to be a little brighter and more bold looking. So most of these materials are going to be coming from my mods map folder whereas the ones you'll be editing and copying over are going to be coming from the base game files. So let's go ahead and get started. So once you copy them over I recommend putting all of your components into a folder here. So for instance, I have mine in a folder called Red Obelisk on my mods map. Um, and you have all your stuff that you copied over on here then. And what I would do is I would make sure you change all the names here to the color of the obelisk that you want. So like for our tutorial, I would change everything that says red to yellow. But for the sake of time, we're just going to leave it at red because it's probably the only obelisk that will be on this tutorial map. So what we're going to do now is we're going to copy over all of the materials and particle systems that we're going to need to edit to change the color. And we're just going to copy them over into our maps mod folder. So first off, we're going to go to the noise blur beam and go to details. And in the materials area here, just click the magnifying glass and then just copy it over to your maps folder and then we're going to do the same thing with the soft blur beam magnifying glass it was right next to that one probably should have seen that so then just copy that and the obelisk material you only want to copy the second one the element one material so we're going to go ahead and that and you don't need to do anything with the sphere um, but you do need the in heat one here that is a particle system so it won't have the material picture it'll have this picture so go ahead and just copy that one as well and skip the point lights and the spotlights um, we don't need those then the spawning pad, going to copy this material and copy it into there. And then the same thing with the summoning. That is also a particle system. So scroll too far, Let's put that there, go over to here. So now we should have all of our materials here. Um, what you're probably going to want to do is rename these so that they have the color of your obelisk in the name it's so like at the end of this I'd put underscore yellow since we're making a yellow obelisk but again I'm not going to do that just for the sake of time so let's go ahead and start changing these so we're going to start with the noise blur beam at the top and we're just going to replace the material right now so that is using this one here so just replace and open it up you can see it's a red right here so this is obviously for a red obelisk and you want to open up base controls and then go to color here and arcs color system uses an RGB system which is red green and blue and basically you just make different colors by um, using different values of each component here so for yellow we're going to be using red and green so I'm going to do 0.7 and 0.7 and now we got a yellow color Let's go ahead and save that and then we will do the same thing for the soft blur beam that one is right here and we'll go 
ahead and change that. Let's go 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and don't know if we're able to see any noticeable differences yet. I guess there is kind of that yellow color there. So you can see that we are making a difference here. Now we're going to change the actual color of the obelisk. So that is using this material here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Open this up. And you want to go to emissive, emissive color. And we're just going to do 0 0.7, 0 0.7. This will probably still be pretty bright, but oh well. So if you zoom out, or pan out, I guess I should say be able to see that the obelisk should start glowing a yellow color and the implant at the top should be yellow. Let's go ahead and go back down to the bottom because I don't like being super far zoomed out. And again, skip the sphere. We're going to do the end heat part now. That is a particle system. So we're going to plug that in so that we're not editing the base files open up the particle system and you'll see our particle system right here now what you're going to want to do is anytime you see something that has color in it you're going to change it so for the first one we got color over life and you're going to want to come down here to the constant curve and it should have two values here um, so then on the out value we're going to change it to our color so I'm going to go 0 0.7 0 0.7 and technically you probably only have to change one of these but I get easily confused with this so I just changed both just to be safe and we're gonna do the same thing with this one as well let's go 0 0.7 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 0 0.7 and same thing with this one now the reason I am doing this video is because it was one of the most commonly requested one so I figured I'd show you guys how to do it since I did it on my map so we're gonna change this one as well and you probably won't notice any differences yet but you will as we move on through here so now we're actually in the particle emitter section so we're gonna have three of these to change now the color over life initial color and the scale color over life so let's go ahead and change these. So we go 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Change the initial color to 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And now you're going to start to see the yellow color showing up. And this is probably the most time consuming part of this entire process is changing the particle systems just because you have to change all these values. So it's starting to get a little more yellow. And we'll just keep changing this. Alright, so on this particle emitter here, I had a value of 5, and that's because it's for this middle beam here, and I wanted it to be brighter than the other ones. So we're just going to add a 5 on the Y value there. And we'll do that on all of these. And that just makes your middle beam a bit brighter than the other ones. So for lightning, I would not change anything because your lightning is white. Um, you can obviously change it if you want it to be a different color, but I like it as white, so I just leave that alone. And we'll change the color over life for this one to 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and then the color over life 
for this one as well. Let's go 0.7 and 0.7. Now we should have changed all the colors now. And you can't really tell at all. You can if you look at it like that. But we'll start to notice stuff more as we go on here. So let's go ahead and change the point lights and the spotlights now. So for these are fairly easy. Just come down to light color. And we're going to go 255. We'll just do that for all of these. Now obviously this is going to be super bright because that is the maximum value that you can use for them. But this is just a tutorial showing you how to change the colors so you can obviously set them at whatever value you want them at. And don't need that because that's just the sound. Now we're going to go on to the spawning pad here. So that is using the tech pad emissive material which is right here. And you could probably use a material instance for this one but I always just use the base material. I'm not sure why. And you should see this when you open it then. And coming out of emissive color is everything. And you're going to want to change these values here. So we're just going to go add an 80 there, make it yellow. And add a 3 there, make that yellow. And just wait for this to catch up. And we'll save that. And it's probably going to need to do shader compilation because it is a base material. So that is changing the color of the lights that go across your spawn pad here. So now it's yellow. Um, your actual metal part here, let's see if I can slow down the camera speed a bit, it will have bits of red on it. The only way to edit that is if you open up the material texture for the metal in like Photoshop or GIMP and edit the red to yellow. Uh, but we're not going to do that in this one. And like your middle thing here is going to be red as well. But anyways, let's move on to the last part, which is the summoning particle system. And that's using this one here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. And again, this is another part of the beam. And again, we got all these to go through. So let's go ahead and start with our initial color change that to 0.7 and 0.7 and scale color over life go 0 0.7 0 0.7 0.7 0 0.7 make sure we didn't miss any we got color over life here and it's tied together with this one so we won't have to change anything in this column here so let's go ahead and change that to 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Go ahead and scroll over a bit. Now we're going to change the color over life here. And make sure we have both points expanded there. Now we're starting to get a yellow beam again. And we need to change the color over life for this one. And now we're back at the lightning, so we won't change that because we want to leave it at white. But the particle emitters here we're going to change. Let's go ahead and do color over life. Let's go. 0.7, 0 0.7, and we're going to change these here. So we go 0 0.7, 0 0.7, opening up that point, 
0.7. Actually, it was at zero for some reason, but whatever. Okay, now these are tied in weird here. Um, so you just have to kind of double check all these, I guess. We'll go 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Again, we'll change this one. Let's go 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, and 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Now you should slow, slowly start to see all of this reddish tint disappear as you make your way through here. If you don't, you probably missed something, or you did something wrong. Yeah, and that one's changed. That one is not. I'll change this one. That one's changed. This one is not. And color over light. So let's do 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And 0 0.7, 0 0.7. All right, so now that one should be finished. Let's go ahead and get out of here. You select all of that, so now our beam should be completely yellow. Should see yellow up there. And let's go ahead and see what this looks like at night. So let's just come up to matinee, open up our master day cycle, and just slide that over to here. And should probably enter game view. Go ahead and turn up our speed. So there is our obelisk. Obviously, it's glowing very brightly. Um, you can probably make it a little more dimmer, I guess, if you feel so inclined to do so. But that is our red obelisk, now yellow. So I think in our next video, we're probably going to be looking at how to make the actual obelisk terminal work here so that you can summon yourself to boss arenas and stuff from here and actually open up a menu because right now if you went into play mode and went up there you couldn't do anything there's nothing there it's just a normal static mesh right now so that is it for this tutorial if you enjoyed it please leave it a like and subscribe for our future tutorial videos and if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the comment section below or go ahead and join the discord which I will also link there and I can help you one-on-one. -on -one. So see you in the next video. Goodbye.